Shalom, brothers and sisters. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Brakotha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our spiritual teachers who rule well over us. Salutations to our sincere, powerful brothers that goes out on the highways and the myways, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the true flock of Israel, the sincere flock of Israel. And shalom to our genuine, sincere, beautiful brothers and sisters supporting this true doctrine. Kwam Yashar Allah. Everything is to do with the will of our power. Yeah? The will of Yahweh is what stands. What every, what, whatever proceeds out of the Most High's mouth, right, it goes. There's no turning back. And he never lies. Our power never lies. Yeah? And he said to us, right, that he will not cast us off forever. Although we did wrong, right, he cast us off. All right? He wants us to repent, come back to him. And he just said that he won't cast us off forever. But the thing is, he will cast off Esau forever. What I'm saying, the Lord, our power never lies. So one nation of people is not going to be cast away forever. And another pe a nation of people are going to be cast away forever. So whenever you're praying, give all praise and glory to our highest power that you are born a Hebrew Israelite. Although they are brothers, they are Hebrew Edomites. So we have to give all praises and glory at all times. It's a blessing. It is a blessing that you are born a Hebrew Israelite. Glory be to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai Ba'asham Rakakwadash. Right? So let me go to the first scripture. All right? I'm going to go to Lamentations 3. Let me start from... Let me start from 31. All right? Lamentations 3, 31. And it says, For the Lord will cast, will not cast off forever. But though he cast grief, but though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion. Right? That's his people. That's why it prays to be that you're a Hebrew Israelite. According to the multitude of his mercies. For he do, doeth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men, to crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth, to turn aside the right of a man before the face of the Most High, to subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approveth. Not. 37. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? So no one can say anything without the Most High sanctioning it. All right? There's no person under the, under the sun, right? Because everything is of the Lord's will. There's no one under the sun that can say what is what and this is how it's going and this is how it will be. No, 
because it's due to the Most High's will. And his will, as I said, he said he would not cast off forever. And that is us. That's due to his will. All right? But due to his will, Esau he would cast off forever. All right? Let me go to um, Psalms 33. Psalms 33. verse 8 to 9 and he says let all the earth fear the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai hey but listen to me just because we are a special chosen people just because he's going to have multitudes of mercy upon us just because he loves us just because we are the apple of his eye all right we must still fear Fear our power, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahshai. Fear him with trembling knees. Okay? And it says there again, Psalms 33 and 8. Let all the earth fear the Lord Yahweh Ba'asham Yahshai. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. You see, the Lord, he said, when he speaks, that is it. It is done. All right? Because it's of his will. Nothing goes to pass without his, his, his will. All right? Nothing. So again, Psalms 33 and 9, for he spake, and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. All right. So let me get another scripture here to prove that it's the Most High's will. Uh, I'm going to go to James. Where am I going to go? James uh, chapter 4. Let me start at 13. And it says, Boasting about tomorrow is wrong. How dare you boast when it's not of you? It's of the Most High. It's only the Most High could boast. Yeah? All right? And there's a scripture that says that if you're going to boast anything, um, I don't want to be going off here, it's to do with if your name is written in the book of life, then you can boast, right? Because the Most High does not lie, right? Whatever he says, it, whatever he says, it stands, all right? There's no turning back. So in that case, you could boast and say, yes, glory, praise be to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahshai. You could boast in that way, glory be to Yahweh Ba'asham that I've been chosen to be in the book of life, Yes? But do not boast about tomorrow because boasting about tomorrow is wrong. You cannot boast because it's not of you. It's the will of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahshai. Yeah? The will of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahshai. So it says here in James 4, 13, Go to now, yea, that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain verse 14 whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow for what is your life it is even a, a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away so this is the point now in verse 15 for that he ought to say if the lord will you see that we shall live 
and do this of or that. Right? I'm going to say that again. And that is when we say Lord will, that is Yahweh Ratazah. Okay? In the Hebrew, Yahweh Ratazah, which means Lord will. Everything is of the Lord's will. I read that again. For that he ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. All right? So you cannot boast about tomorrow. So back to this thing now. It's because of the Lord's will, right? Because of the Lord's will, the Mosai does not lie. All right? He does not lie. And he promised that he will cast us off, but not forever. But he's going to cast off Esau forever. All right? So that's what I wanted to talk about. All right? At the end of the day, the will of Yahweh is what stands. Right? Yahweh Rataza. Yahweh Rataza. Yahweh Rataza. Lord willing. All right? The will of our power. All right. So with that, to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Ba Sham Yao Shai, Rakotha Yahweh Ba Sham Yao Shai, Ba Hasham Rekar Kudash, give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, right? That we should be so grateful to have as our spiritual um, teachers, right? Our spiritual parents. That guides us through, right? The scriptures. Because if it wasn't for them, right, we wouldn't know. We would not know. All right? So we have to give. And that is all in the Lord's will, you see? That is of the Lord's will. They were set up to do that job, all right, for us to learn from them. Yes? So everything is of the Lord's will. And we give all praises and glory to our highest power, that we were born a Hebrew Israelite. Never forget that. All right? So, brothers and sisters, Shalom, keep strong. Let's keep strong. Right? Because Yahweh Shai is coming back very soon. All right? He's coming back very soon. So let's be prepared. Let's get ready. And let's hope and pray according to His will according to his will that we are chosen that we can be written in the book of life all right because the joy the real joy is coming soon very very soon that the real joy is coming all right the most does not lie because that pain that pain will not remain forever all right so with that, Shalom.